There are few professions as iconic as that of being a fighter pilot. From the historical, like the Red Baron and Eddie Rickenbacker, to the fictional, like Maverick and Iceman, or my favorite, Thumper and Chappie. Mayday! Mayday! Chappie! Iron Eagle is an underrated film franchise. If you haven't seen it, please do. It also proves that images of fighter pilots alone live in rarefied air. But just as the bi-wing gave way to the turboprop and the F-117 gave way to the F-35, so too will the men and women serving as today's icons piloting the F-22 and the F-35. At least in part. That's because right now people are working to make sure America's next conflict puts fewer icons in harm's way by giving artificial intelligence a chance at the stick. Essentially creating AI fighter pilots. This next evolution in combat is being led by companies like Shield AI and Episci. For them, autonomous combat-ready aircraft is the way to bring maximum firepower with minimum exposure for those serving to protect the United States and its interests abroad. For former Navy SEAL and Shield AI co-founder Brandon Singh, the need for autonomous combat aircraft is pretty simple every single unit is able to have massive organic air assets at their disposal. That's the shift that's happening. And why is that important? It enables you to have air superiority on every single mission, and that enables maneuver on the ground. What Fundamentally game-changing. FSI's Chris Gentile is a retired Air Force fighter pilot himself. He says AI pilots are simply the next evolution of American combat innovation. The fact is, warfare in general, and the American way of warfare in particular, is about using technology to realize asymmetric advantages over a foe. As Gentile sees it, those advantages are not limited to the skies. Whether that's a submarine, a ship, an aircraft, uh, a weapons launch platform, something like that. We want to continue to increase that capability, continue to make each human being, each American that chooses to go into harm's way, that much more effective but use tools like AI and autonomy to manage their cognitive workload, make sure they're not overwhelmed. For most people, seeing is believing, and both companies have plenty of working examples of their technology. So why aren't they being introduced to the DoD on a larger scale right now, especially when near-peer adversaries like Russia and China are working to bring similar capabilities to the battle space? It's not a technology problem, it's a budget, it's a resourcing, it's a programming problem in terms of getting this capability out as fast as possible. Once those issues are overcome, Singh thinks the change for operators in combat will be evident immediately. AI pilots paired with affordable aircraft is the most strategic conventional deterrent uh, since really you know the introduction of aircraft carriers. It comes back to can we effectively employ mass affordable weapons like the Ukrainians are doing, but with American control and American ethics. Can we have the right interaction with an operator that there's always a human on the loop when it comes to a lethal force decision? Earlier this month, Shield AI inked a deal with Navair to put their Hivemind AI pilot in the Kratos BQM-177A, a subsonic aerial target used for training. And Episci landed a Small Business Innovation Research Award for an AI-aided satellite project that, if successful, will help sense hypersonic vehicle and missile launches.